A demand for change. That's what students at Johnson High School are pushing for after two of their classmates were killed in a fiery crash. Gabriel Juarez and Ziv Houdani were killed in a two vehicle crash back in January in the 232 100 block of Boulevard Road, just outside of the school entrance. Traffic Authority Stephen Cavasso explains why some feel danger is getting too close to home. It's a painful reminder for Johnson High School students. That was truly a loss that was felt very deeply. It was January 9th when 16 year old Gabriel Juarez and 17 year old Ziv Houdani were killed in a crash just outside the campus entrance. I think it was just something that was felt throughout the school. Alex Easley is a junior and is part of the Smart Driving Club, a student organization which aims to promote better driving habits. Easley tells us the tragedy led to a call for action. It gave the county and city a reason to listen to our voices. The group of students have been working with city and county officials to recommend improvements improvements in the area where their classmates died. Some of those improvements include better signage and traffic lights. Melinda Cox is a club sponsor and founder. She says the area also has a blind curve and too often drivers speed through. We have, you know, 600 kids that pull out of the back parking lot every day. A spokesman for District 9 Councilman John Courage tells us their office has received complaints about the conditions on Bulverde, but the area is controlled by Bear County. County officials tell us an engineer study is being conducted along the corridor, but the findings have not been made public. Easley tells us as they wait for answers, students remain determined. I think it's very important to spread our message throughout other school districts. It's not only a Johnson problem. Yeah, we are told that an overhead beacon was funded by Councilman Courage's office, which they hope to see installed by next school year. As far as the results from that engineer study, county officials tell us that should be available within the next few weeks. Of course, we'll update this story at KSAT.com as more information is made available. Stephen Cavazos, KSAT 12 News.